Ever wondered how statisticians measure the variability within a set of data points? Well, the answer lies in a concept known as the within sum of squares. Now, this might sound a bit intimidating, but fret not. By the end of this discussion, it will be as clear as a summer's day. To truly grasp the concept of within sum of squares, it's essential to understand the basic terminology. The focus here is on sum of squares, which in the simplest terms is a statistical technique used to measure the dispersion of data points. It calculates the squared deviations of individual observations from the mean. Now the within sum of squares, often abbreviated as WSS, is an extension of this concept. It specifically measures the variability of data within individual groups. Imagine having multiple groups of data. The WSS will calculate the sum of squares for each group separately, focusing on the dispersion of data within each group. But how exactly does one go about calculating the within sum of squares? The process, while detailed, is straightforward. First, calculate the mean of each group. Then, for each data point in a group, calculate its deviation from the group's mean. Square this deviation and repeat the process for all data points in the group. Finally, sum up all these squared deviations. Repeat this process for all groups and there you have it, the within sum of squares. The beauty of the within sum of squares is that it provides a detailed look into the variability within groups. It's instrumental in analysis of variance, ANOVA, a statistical method used to test differences between two or more means. ANOVA uses the within sum of squares and the between sum of squares to determine whether the means of several groups are equal. But the applications of within sum of squares don't stop at ANOVA. It's also widely used in cluster analysis. Here it helps to determine the homogeneity within individual clusters. A lower WSS indicates that the data points within a cluster are closely packed, implying higher homogeneity. In essence, the within sum of squares is a powerful statistical tool. It measures the variability within groups, providing insights into the dispersion of data points. It's a crucial component in analysis of variance and cluster analysis, among other statistical methods. So, the next time someone talks about measuring variability within datasets, you'll know exactly what they're referring to, the within sum of squares.